So there was recently a Senate Judiciary Committee meeting uh, regarding the hate crimes and anti-Semitism and protests and different things going on on campuses across the country that we've been hearing about since October 7th. And the same routine is being played over and over again. Whenever anyone's questioned about what goes on on campus, we like to pretend that these signs and these hate and all the hate speech is really there's nuance to it. It has to be seen in a different sort of context. Check out Senator Josh Hawley, who is doing a lot of grilling over here and can barely keep his composure when when talking about this particular issue. Check this out. Um, Ms. Barry, let me just start with you. You said in response to a question from, I think it was Senator Graham, you praise the protests going on on campuses. I just want to make sure I got this right, so you correct me now as a national organic human rights movement. What, what did you mean by that? The mass movement in support of Palestinian human rights is happening on college campuses across the country um, after students are learning more about the history of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and the specific targeting of, of Palestinian human rights, yes. Oh, okay, I, I just want to be clear about what, we're, what you're praising and not praising. Um, well, praising- let's, let's have a look here. So, yeah. this, long, long live the Intifada. Yeah. Is is this an example of the of the what did you say national organic human rights movement that you mean? Is this a, is this a human rights movement? I'm I'm not sure that using the term intifada, which literally just means to like shake off or get rid of, is effective, uh, as most Americans don't actually associate it with a human. So so I love I love when this game is played and when when a term is used that has clear implications by the ones that are using it, we like to pretend that, well, there's multiple. It just, it, it technically means uprising. So we'll just, we'll assume that's the context. In, in any other group, what, 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 what we like to do is things that are not offensive sometimes and have no, no intention of offense. Sometimes we are, we are made to believe that we to take the words and to make them offensive towards other groups. But here are the words that are actually meant to be offensive and meant to be jarring and meant to mean what they mean are all of a sudden just assumed to be, well, there's many nuances and contexts in which that could be, that, that could be viewed. And um, I'm really kind of sick of hearing the, the, the whole context game when it comes to these particular protests and the students that are being targeted on campus. Well, let's continue. And rights issues, so I don't think that's effective, no, Senator? Uh, wait a minute. You don't think it's effective, but you would agree that this is, this is calling for the destruction of the, of the state of Israel. This is, this is after the- No, Senator. No, oh, it's not? This I, isn't calling for the killing of Jews? I don't know that person and I don't know that sign. So you, oh, I don't know you, what that's oh, you don't know what this for. means? I don't think. You haven't seen this before? Did, did you see these protests on, on uh, Rabbi, do you know what this means? Yes, it's a call for the destruction of the state of Israel and probably the killing of Jews everywhere. I do not agree with that, Senator. You, As, you don't think that this, you don't think that's hate speech right here? Long live the Intifada can mean different. As I see the problem, it can mean Senator, different things. Wait a minute. This this is this is yeah. these are protests, violent protests on campuses that targeted Jewish students, attacked them personally, prevented them from going to camp to go, going to class, put them in fear of their safety after the October seventh attacks on the state of Israel that murdered more Jews than any at any time since the Holocaust. And you're saying you think that this is an ambiguous message? I'm saying that any student targeted on campus, a Jewish student... Will you condemn this right here? Right here. I'm Long live the Intifada. I'm Will you condemn that? I'm condemning Jewish students on, targeted, on a campus is being targeted, and the Office of Civil Rights should successfully be given funding will in you order get, to Will you condemn them. this as hate speech? I think that can be hate speech, but I don't think it's automatically hate speech. The problem is that there's nuance I'm trying to introduce to this conversation. What's the nuance when these people because are marching and calling intifada, for Jews to be because, killed? Sir, sir, because long intifada also means uprising for Palestinians. The way Oh, so of, it's ambiguous, so it's hard to say. Well, my gosh. Okay, let's try another one. What about this? <laughs> he, he, can, he can hardly contain himself. and. And all of a sudden, again, with, with the nuance, there's there's nuance. I don't know who is that person. I don't, I don't know what they really mean by it. Uh, their actions uh, are distinct from the sign. Who knows? They're stopping kids from coming on campus. They're being violent. They're 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 they're. Uh, what what is this? What what is this nonsense? Keep continuing. Please, audience, will please 
Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, that's fine. We, we know what you think. Right, exactly. I mean, I think you've made it clear. Those who were cheering earlier when Senator Cruz was asking about the attempts to destroy and kill Jews. I, I just let, let's just be clear about what's going on here, because here's what's happening at this hearing. We can't talk about anti-Semitism without also talking about something else. The message that's being sent today at this hearing today is anti-Semitism isn't enough. The attempts to kill Jews on campuses, that's not a conversation worthy of discussion. You've got to add something else to it. So if you want to kill Jews, oh, well, we can't talk about that unless we also talk about 15 other things. And now we have a witness sitting here yep. who will not condemn the attempts on these campuses that are blatantly anti-Semitic tropes, Nazi tropes to try and kill Jews. What about this one? There's only one solution. Is that a, a national organic human rights movement? No, sir. I trust that's in reference to Holocaust. And that's I would think the final solution. Okay, what about this? What about this? Why? 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 Why do we assume that? Maybe they're talking about the solution to the algebra class that they're in, or some other college. Like it, it's such, it's so jarring. It's such nonsense to 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 be okay with context. But oh, but this this slogan this means something else, and this I'm willing to condemn, and that like stop the nonsense. Everybody knows what what every what all of these protesters mean. Continue. Glory to our martyrs. I, again, I don't understand the point of messaging like that. I don't know what that means. Would All you I'm condemn this as anti-Semitic? This was projected here in Washington, D.C., on the campus, in front of Jewish students, following the October 7th massacre. I think that that is not appropriate speech at a time. There's hate speech in the context, don't you think? Sure, but I, okay. the point is I would prefer to focus on the issue of hate crime. That's the reason I'm saying We are. That. This is a hate crime. When you, when you threaten to kill Jews that's and destroy the state of Israel, no. that's hate speech. No, threatening that's to a kill. hate crime. It's, it, it's, it's quite sad that we, that we live in a society that just can't say this is wrong. Like, like why, why, why is this so difficult, people? It's not, it's, it, 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 this should not be complicated stuff. And yet, time and again, whenever we have Senate judiciary hearings, whenever we have this discussion coming up about what's going on on college campuses, in, in the open, that we, we pretend that there's, that there's nuance, that there's, that there's something perhaps to, that we should consider that is, that is worthwhile of discussion. It, it's, it's, it's all nonsense and it, all, and it needs to stop right now.